Hi, I'm Ben Welsh here in the LA Times Newsroom. And in this video, I'm going to, show, to show you how to install the Xcode developer tools on a Mac OS X computer. Xcode is a large bundle of computer programming tools put together by Apple that allow you to do all kinds of heavy duty computer programming, everything from creating apps for iPhones to working with large data files using compiled Python code. Now, in this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to install the whole thing. I'm going to show you a trick to just install the command line developer tools necessary to compile Python code, which is our goal in this case. All right, so if you need to install the whole thing, you should go to the App Store or Apple.com. But if you just want to install the super nerdy tools for the terminal, follow along with me. All right, our first step is to go to the upper right hand corner and click on the magnifying glass. There we will type in terminal, which will search for our command prompt, where we can issue commands to the operating system. There's our result. You can either hit enter or double click. Up will come our terminal. Now, here in the notepad, I've laid out the command that will install just the developer command line tools. All right, and so we're going to try to run that right now. Together, we type xcode dash select space dash dash install. Now we're going to push enter which should kickstart a long installation process. If it doesn't, if your computer just comes down to another line in the terminal and says these tools are already installed, that means you're done and you can just stop now. But I'm going to assume that's not going to happen and we're going to go along for this ride. Alright, ready? Let's press enter. Alright, so the first thing it's asking us is it's saying are you sure that you just want to install these command line developer tools and not all of Xcode. And we are, if you are sure, you want to hit that blue install button on the right. If you think you might want everything that comes with Xcode so you can do other things later, you should click the button on the left and go do that longer process. But if you're just doing Python like I am, you won't need to. All right, so I'm going to hit install on the right, which like, just like your iTunes or any other Apple software, is going to ask you to agree to a terms of use. We're going to do so. And now a download process will begin where this tool will collect a lot of different files, bring them down from the internet, and then put them on your computer. And there's not much we can do at this point other than wait. As it continues, since my internet is not going that swiftly, I'm going to pause this video and then restart it when I reach the next step. All right, we're back, and we can see here that my download and installation process has finished, and there it now says the software has been installed. Congratulations, you've successfully installed the Xcode developer tools.